Hi, my name is Jared Hocker, and I'm the Director of Marketing for Encompass, and I'm here with Ford Boone, the VP of Sales, Applications, and Products for Time Savers. And we're here to discuss how Encompass brands play a role in the manufacturing of mass timber. So Ford, what is mass timber? Mass timber is an industry term describing projects utilizing engineered wood products into massive timber structures, or mass timber for short. These are things made out of engineered wood products of various types. So stuff that makes up the normal construction of a building, the support columns, walls, floor supports, ceiling supports, those kinds of items made out of engineered either hybrid wood or hybrid meaning mixed wood and metal products put together into a structure. Project examples include building structures like houses, apartment buildings, different kind of business centers, churches, various buildings that today would have traditional construction can be replaced with mass timber construction. The mass timber manufacturing sector and our companies underneath the Encompass umbrella, including Newman, Time Savers, and Du Bois, look at these engineered wood products from the manufacturing perspective. There's some products that have been around for a long time in mass timber, things like veneer, laminated veneer lumber, or plywood, for example, used in traditional building construction, are mass timber products that get used today and have been used for a long time in the traditional wood construction industry. But in addition, there's new materials like glue laminated timbers, GLTs, or cross laminated timbers, CLTs, that get used. The mass timber manufacturing sector and our companies underneath Encompass, including Newman, Time Savers, and Du Bois, look at focus on the construction material aspect of mass timber called engineered wood products, which is a combination of wood products that are highly engineered into specific products to serve in the end use of mass timber. So Ford, mass timber has been around forever, but what has contributed to the recent growth in the industry? Well, the recent growth in the industry, especially in the U.S. market, are around several factors. First is aesthetics. You know, natural wood has a nice, warm appeal to it, especially in living spaces. It's very, aesthetics play a large part in that. Second would be environmental aspects. Wood is a renewable resource. Engineered wood products can be made from sustainable forestry and forest initiatives with raw products that are renewable. It has a lot of curb appeal for that reason. Third is construction benefits. Traditional construction is done with metal and concrete on site, you need large work crews, you need good weather to be able to accomplish and build. Every, all the building materials are brought on site and all that work is done on site with those workers and, and hopefully with good weather conditions. Engineered wood products that are used to make mass timber structures, by contrast, are all pre-engineered. So the engineered wood products themselves are pre-engineered, but also everything in the whole building is pre-engineered before it gets on site. So everything's kind of modular or prefabricated. When you get on site, it's simply a construction process that's like an erector set or like Like IKEA furniture. Yeah, exactly. Same, same process idea, yep. Also, the building codes in the United States have uh, international building code has changed recently to allow from smaller mass timber structures all the way up to 19, 18, 19 story buildings. That international building code change as it gets adopted in local municipalities around the United States is allowing for the growth of larger mass timber structures and large more companies then are pursuing these structures to be able to, to have manufacturing capabilities to support that market need. And last, there was a lot of roadblocks in this market previously with fire and, and some risk around hazard insurance and, and there was new construction tech and new construction techniques because it was relatively new, especially into the US market here back in the last decade or so. So all of those traditional roadblocks that existed from mass timber being adopted well have been slowly being removed over time. So how does mass timber manufacturing contribute to the overall sustainability goals of the industry? Well, sustainability literally means the ability to maintain a certain rate or level. And there's kind of two parts to that in mass timber. First is the raw products themselves. So the raw products are a renewable resource. The raw ingredients used to make mass timber come from wood products that can easily be renewed. So you have a sustainable supply chain related to mass timber to make engineered wood products that go into mass timber structures. And then second, sustainability is around the processing of that, of the raw material into the engineered wood product materials. And that's really where this equipment we're talking about today, stuff like planers, sanders, and finishing equipment from Newman, Time Savers, and Du Bois come into play. They allow the manufacturers of mass timber products to have a sustainable build and processing through to finishing of engineered wood products. What are the more common applications you're seeing in mass timber manufacturing? Yeah, so I, I think about the application side of mass timber manufacturing, it almost makes more sense to rewind back to the products that are used to make mass timber structures. And then we can talk about the applications of, around manufacturing. So 
the raw ingredients that get that go into, for example, a glue laminated timber or GLT are wood pieces that are dimensioned, put together into a parallel grain structure. So taking boards, for example, planing them, dimensioning them, sanding them into a particular dimensional size, stacking them up with glue in between into a structure, for example, a building support column or a beam of some kind, compressing that till it dries, and then continuing the same process, the same application process again, planing that beam, sanding that beam to a desired pre-finished state, cleaning it, denibbing it, taking out the raised grain, and then processing it through some kind of a wipe stain finish process, potentially with curing at the end of it. So we take that glue lamb or, or glue laminated timber and cross laminated timber are the two most common ingredients that make up mass timber structures. Again, that glue lamb is a beam or support column. Cross laminated timber, same idea, but each layer, instead of being parallel to each other, is rotated perpendicular to each other. And they're used to make wider and, and uh, longer structures, for example, for flooring or intermediate flooring, ceilings or roof structures. So large panels, for example, panelized structures. So glue lamps for beams, CLTs for panelized structures, but both of them having raw ingredients and need to get processed through things that plane. So our Newman planers, for example, the application there is planing, getting that lumber from a raw, raw state into a pre-configured state either before it gets constructed in the engineer wood product or even after it's made into the beam then processing it through. So planing, again, planing at the, either at the ingredient level or at the engineer wood product level, sanding, denibbing, removing that raised grain that may be left over from the sanding process. Then cleaning and finishing with a stain wipe uh, and or curing at the end of that process. So those are the applications that need to get done for almost all of the engineer wood products. And we focus in here a little bit on glue lamps and cross laminate timbers. But there is a wide range of engineered wood products that are used in the mass timber industry. So there's things like stacked up plywood oriented different structures called mass plywood panels. We talked about blue laminated timbers. There's also dowel laminated timbers, nail laminated timbers, many different kinds of engineered wood products that all have a very similar processing methodology that needs to go raw materials to make the engineered wood product, processing that engineered wood product into its final state to be used in the mass timber structure. How are mass timber products being produced today? Today is kind of really a conventional hand finishing process. So again, that building code changed. So up to three story type buildings, it wasn't a problem to have like a full building where a manufacturer would do a conventional hand process. So take the raw materials, process them into glue lambs or cross them into timber structures, glue them in a static location, plane them, sand them, finish them, hand spray them. A complete hand finished process, somewhat laborious, kind of tedious, uh, but, but able to be done for a small, construction and, and smaller type buildings under that three-story mark without a problem. That's changing over time to use process equipment because of the international building code changes and the manufacturing increases. And you mentioned the companies that we have in the Encompass umbrella. How has that made things more efficient in producing higher quality parts for you know our customers and anybody manufacturing in mass timber? Yeah, really, I mean, it's really taking that hand process that's it's tedious, it's labor intensive, and it's not very accurate today. You know, when you're wrecking these components on site, they all have to be pretty accurate to be able to go together, especially when you're stacking them up into a, a multi-story building. So accuracy becomes very important. So we can take those tedious hand labor processes and we can automate them through, for example, a Newman planer, a time savers white belt sanding machine that can be used for taking out planing marks or for uh, dimensioning product or uh, Dubois finishing equipment that can be used for sanding, cleaning, spraying, coating, uh, and all curing. those can be run on more like a semi-line type process where you're set to a machine parameters. As long as your machines are maintained and kept up, you'll be able to produce very accurate, repeatable product in more of an assembly-line type fashion at a much higher throughput and volume. You noted growth earlier. What advancements have been made over the last couple of years in the mass timber industry? There's been a few advancements, you know, that the mass timber industry really gets to heavily leverage or benefit from the traditional wood processing industry. So things that make up traditional construction techniques like 2x4s, 2x6s, uh, plywoods, different, different wood products today that get used in traditional construction are processed through some of the equipment we've been talking about today already. So they get planed, they get sanded and finished. Most of the time they go into a building they're not usually finished for UV treatment or for external facing applications. Usually they're encapsulated inside of a building where you can't see them. 
So, but so that the what, the mass temperature gets the benefit from those solutions. But in addition, now they take these hand processes they're doing today. When they apply that equipment, what they really get is that accuracy and that repeatability that we've been talking about to get fine processed structures at a much higher volume and much faster throughput. So it's advancements in machinery and the manufacturing piece of it, but there's also in a, a material handling component too, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, automation. These these solutions need automation components, especially around material handling, to be able to process them through on these lines. So, for example, a glue laminated timber can be six inches wide, 18 inches deep, and up to 40 or 60 feet long. But they're very large structures that are heavy that have to be processed in and through these pieces of equipment to get them from a raw state into a final product. There's been a lot of advances around robotics and material handling solutions, general roller conveyors and things like that. And in integration of the line, so from that planing to the sanding to the wiping, staining, curing, having that all in a line, an automated line to process through with matched feed speeds, and these machines have an integration with each other with, for example, emergency stops or just the feed speed itself. All of those have been advancements around automation with material handling and then just in processing with these line ideas. So it's no secret we're here representing Encompass and with that time savers, Newman and Du Bois, in mass timber and the manufacturing process as a whole, what sets us apart? Well, there's, there's a few things there. You know, when, when our customers shop for traditional machinery, most of the time it's, it's a la carte. Most manufacturers offer these pieces of equipment a la carte. So we've talked about today, we talked about rough planing, we talked about white belt dimensioning, sanding, preparing for finish. We talked about denibbing, getting that raised grain out the surface of these engineered wood products. We talked about the, the downstream cleaning, like a brush machine cleaning and denibbing, cleaning, and then finishing with a white type stain, for example, and then curing. Normally, when a, when a customer goes to look for these solutions, he may look at them a la carte. He has to talk with multiple, two, three, four manufacturers, and then also work on the integration of these things into a line. It's a tremendous amount of upfront work on our customers to have to go seek these solutions out a la carte, make sure they all plug and play together, they all integrate together on site and accomplish the end product, their, their mass timber product that they're looking for. And that's really the, the largest benefit of the Encompass brand. We have this group of manufacturing solutions underneath it that encompass this whole group of solutions. So we can have a one-stop shop. The customer doesn't have to worry about integration. They don't have to worry about the application side of, we're focused on the output product that they're looking for on the whole line in cooperation with the companies together. And we can offer that as a turnkey solution to the market. So although different brands, they can still be tailored to work together to meet the needs of any particular mass timber application or process. Yeah, I mean, if, if the customer wants to go out of the cart, no problem. We can sell an individual solution, no problem. If they want to do part of the solution today and, and do building blocks to add parts of the solution over time, also no problem. Or if they want to do complete turnkey, all the way integrated, including material handling, uh, we even have automation components that we could do as, as a total overall turnkey line solution. So it's really scalable uh, depending on what the customer's needs are. So if you're a manufacturer in the mass timber world, which is the best company that you should go to? Is it Newman for planing? Is it Time Savers for sanding? Is it Du Bois? Which of these companies should you get in contact with if you're in need of that full line? That's really the benefit of the structure. So underneath the Encompass brand, we have these three companies, and each have their distinct application expertise that they own in-house for those companies. You kind of think of it this way. If they're all part of the same company, who has the priority on which applications get the, get the, get the top priority within the organization? It, it's kind of split, right? You have to fight for it. These are independent companies. You can approach any of the three. They'll pull in the other partners, and each brings their independent application expertise to the table to, to the table to support these solutions. If it involves a full line integration solution, it likely would be on the either the planer side, more towards the planer side would be on Newman. If it was towards the finishing side, it would be Du Bois. If it's a true integration solution, but if it's a la carte, you can approach any of the three, and really you can approach any of the three for the line solution as well. So the goal is customer application, not necessarily one of the brands working with a customer specifically. Correct, correct, exactly. That concludes our interview today, Ford. Thank you for being with us today, teaching us about the mass timber industry as a whole, as well as how Encompass can help with any solutions out in the field. Viewer, thank you for being with us as well. If you have any questions, please contact any of our Encompass Group brands. You can reach us at timesaversinc.com. 
newmanmachine.com or dubois equipment.com or feel free to give any one of us a call thank you